Hello, my name is Daniel Allred and I'm a software and security engineer in Texas Instruments Automotive Processors Group. Today I'll be discussing the security features available on the Jacinto 6 or DRA7XX family of embedded processors, which are used in automotive infotainment applications. To begin, we need to establish what we mean when we say security in the context of an embedded system. Security at the most basic level is about protecting assets against a given set of threats. Assets might include confidential data, on-chip resources, or intellectual property. For example, a proprietary algorithm within the customer code that executes on the device would likely be considered a valuable piece of intellectual property and would therefore be a good candidate for a secured asset. The protection of assets boils down to the attempt to guarantee certain attributes of those assets. The three most commonly desired security attributes are confidentiality, integrity, and authenticity. Confidentiality means that an asset is only disclosed to authorized entities. That is, secrets are kept secret. Integrity means that an asset is only modified by an authorized entity, and unauthorized changes can be detected. Finally, authenticity means that an asset is genuine or valid with a provable origin. Not all of these security attributes will apply to a particular asset, but at least one will. Now that we've established the basic definitions of what is meant by security, we can discuss the measures and means that the Jacinto 6 processors employ in both silicon and software to provide security protection. But before we do that, it is important to clarify one point. The standard versions of Jacinto 6 processors, including the DRA-7-2X, DRA-7-4X, and DRA-7-5X, do not provide the security claims that will be discussed. These processors are referred to as general purpose processors. Versions of the Jacinto 6 processors that include features that can assist customers in providing security to protect assets are referred to as high security or as having HS device type. And I'll use the term high security and the abbreviation HS interchangeably. High security processors are those being considered in this video today. As mentioned, the basis of security on DRA7XX high security processors is provided by a combination of both hardware and software. When leaving the reset condition, the processor's JTAG and debug ports are locked so that no debug access to the chip is allowed, meaning no software can be loaded and the device state is not readable via the debug interface. Contrast that to a general purpose processor, where JTAG connectivity is available as soon as the chip is powered on. The JTAG lock is an example of a hardware-based security protection. In order to run code on the secure processor, it must be booted using the hard-coded on-chip ROM bootloader. This ROM bootloader will only boot and execute code that can be authenticated. That is code whose authenticity and integrity can be cryptographically proven. Optionally, the boot image can be encrypted so that the confidentiality of the code and data is also cryptographically ensured. The secure ROM bootloader can be considered a software-based security mechanism. Now, I just mentioned cryptography, which is inevitably part of any modern secure system. But it is important to understand that cryptography by itself is not security. Rather, it is a mathematically provable means to achieve security, and therefore it plays an important role in secure DRA-7XX processors. These systems on a chip, or SOCs, contain a number of hardware accelerators designed to offload cryptographic operations from the CPU core. Hashing algorithms like SHA-1, SHA-2-256, and SHA-2-512 can be computed using a dedicated hardware engine. Symmetric key encryption and decryption, using algorithms like AES and TripleDES, can be done using hardware blocks designed for those cryptographic primitives. Elements of asymmetric or public key cryptography can also be performed in hardware. And finally, the device includes a true random number generator, which is important for generating new cryptographic keys during device runtime. Cryptography requires keys, and all HS devices contain multiple key values permanently programmed into one-time programmable fuses. The foremost of these key values is called the Manufacturer Public Key Hash, or MPK Hash. This value is used to validate the signed root public key that is loaded at boot time and which provides the root of the chip's public key infrastructure. This means that the ability to use the processor or delegate its use to others is controlled by the customer holding the root private key, a feature called takeover protection. The processor also contains other keys used for symmetric encryption and decryption. One of these is the Customer Encryption Key, or CEK, which is used for decryption of content sent to the processor by the system owner. 
Another key value is called the key encryption key, or KEK. The KEK is a random value known only to the processor, unique to every piece of silicon, and not accessible by software. It is used to encrypt content so that only the same particular silicon device can decrypt it. Using this key can provide a feature known as anti-cloning protection. Ensuring the security of the boot image via the cryptographic checks done by the secure ROM bootloader is only the starting point for creating a secure system. The capability to extend the security beyond the initial boot time can also be critically important, especially in systems where not all code that executes on the HS processor can be considered trusted. This would be the case when running a high-level OS such as QNX Neutrino, Linux, or Android, where third-party code in the form of applications, drivers, or even the OS itself will be executing alongside the customer's trusted code. In order to support runtime security in these potentially hostile software environments, the DRA7XX processors support the ARM Trust Zone technology. This allows the Cortex-A15 cores at the heart of the SoC to execute code in separate secure and public worlds, with hardware in the core enabling separation and preventing the leakage of information between these two domains. With the design of the DRA7XX processors, Texas Instruments extends the idea of public and secure worlds beyond the processor cores and into the remainder of the SoC. The bus infrastructure of the chip carries information about the nature of bus transactions, including whether they are secure or non-secure. Then, firewalls throughout the chip infrastructure protect access to bus targets, such as internal and external memory and peripheral interfaces. These firewalls are designed to ensure separation between public and secure, between privileged and non-privileged, and between the various masters that can initiate bus transactions towards the targets. The hardware firewalls check that the configured permissions are met before granting access, and the firewall configurations are managed only by trusted software running in the secure world. As an example, Using the hardware firewalls in front of the memory interfaces allows the SoC memory to be carved into isolated, protected regions. In addition to the hardware features in DRA7XX HS processors, Texas Instruments also provides a security-focused software development kit, application notes, hardware and software documentation, and tools for application development on these chips. These items are all available upon request. With the high security versions of the Jacinto 6 processors, Texas Instruments has architected a robust solution to assist customers with providing embedded security in the automotive infotainment market. From the moment of reset and throughout the runtime of the device, security can be managed through both hardware and software mechanisms baked into the very nature of the SoC's design. For more details on the security features of the Jacinto 6 family of processors, please contact your local TI sales representative or visit ti.com slash Jacinto. Thanks for watching.